This is DG Vision Network. The time before mine, um, we had analog recordings. It was strictly analog recordings. You know, they played it live. There was no opportunity to retake, you know. But in my own time, uh, say 2000, because I got into the industry in 2005, you know, um, we started mixing. I mean, I met producers like um, from the very first person that, that made my very first hit track. Ekoile featuring Jasmine Olof. Um, well, Jasmine Olof is Ekoile featuring Daria Talade and Sasha. Um, OJB Jezreel was the very first producer I worked with. I mean, he made use of um, the digital workstations then. Like, I think it was he made use of Cubase and Fruity Loops, you know, and pretty much it was that simple. They, they, we, we still kept it um, less of auto tune, but the auto tune these days is <laughs> is on is on the high is on the high side. But it wasn't like that back in the days. Uh, uh, I, I'm I'm going to look at uh the the gadgets part. You know, you know the the innovation of virtual instruments. Okay, you, 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 you know, and plugins. Doors that these are these are the workstations that's music production software new ones that, that can actually perform wonders that a lot of live musicians don't even <laughs> don't, don't even know that kind of magic can, can can actually be pulled by by a little digital audio workstation. Technology really changed a lot of things, you know, in music production. You know, uh, we, we also cannot um, we also cannot forget the payment platforms. Also, you know, because of the ease of um, of transacting across borders, you know, it's been easy to have access to plugins that would have been considered um, ridiculous. You know, now we have access to plugins and we can pay for it. You know. That, that, I mean, without that even happening, we wouldn't even have the kind of industry we have this day, uh, today. You know, so uh, big ups to the fact that payment platforms, you know, opened up um, the market for us to have access to um, the kind of plugins and tools that we need to make music for a start. Oh, well, that's affected the way music is produced in so many ways. Well, I think, the major way, the real game changer is the door, the digital audio workstation, which allows you to make music, all right? It allows you to make music all by yourself without the band. You know, the conventional way of, you know, making music back, you know, you have to come to the studio with your band, you know, the lead singer, you have the guitarist, you have the drummer, the keyboardist, and you know, everybody has to come together to play music. But these days, if you have the software, your digital audio workstation, you know, uh, the likes of um, Pretty Loops, Cubase, uh, um, Pro Tools, you know, and some other ones I haven't mentioned. If you have those ones, you can easily create music all by yourself, as long as you have the know-how, you have the skills. I don't think I don't think technology is just a development. I'm saying is a development that's making things easier for we the producers. I don't see any negative uh, feelings about technology in music right now because it's really helping. You know, it's really helping me for me. I don't know other people, but it's really helping me to make things so easy. I can play bars. I can play keyboard. I can play 
all kinds of instruments just on the software. So I think technology is really make things easier for me to produce a song. Look at what technology did to Alaba international market. Those days, we used to take our CD to Alaba to sell, to look for a market. Ah, I want to sell. But now, because of technology, now we have all these digital stores that are ready to buy your song and you know market your song. These days, independent artists, they are, they are earning money. Yes, you, you, you are your own label, you are your own boss. <laughs> you make your music right from your bedroom. You promote it right from your bedroom. You sell it right from your bedroom. You cash out right from your bedroom. If you want to release your song for free download, you can do that willingly. And you want people to stream your song online, or you want them to download it for a certain amount of money, you can do that also. It's now a choice. So it's not it's not like the old in the, the old days when you take your city to Alaba and, and and you intend to sell it at the end they pirate it. You understand? You don't make money. But now it's like a choice because basically what you need to work with is you know getting the fan base. You understand? If you have enough fans, give or take, say one thousand loyal fans, you can make good sales online. You'll be listening to some kind of sounds that you'll be asking, where did this sound come from? This sound is made through technology, like the Nexus, Omnisphere, all those plugins, they have sounds that, man, you can't find it anywhere. The technology brought those sounds. And at the end of the day, when we, when we the producers, use those sounds, we create dynamic things that the world is going to be, wow, like technology is taking over. So I think in the next five years to come, technology is going to take over. These plugins, I'm telling you, is going to take over. I feel whatever comes, let's just keep making good music and let's just keep sharing the happiness. You know, I feel that really is what matters. You know, Nice made a song um, many years ago. He said, which means if, if I drum on a team, people will still dance. You know, so if what is provided, if what is um, uh, available is technology to make a good sound, then make the best of all sounds. This is DG Vision Network.